Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special spirit reading and messages on this Valentine's Day. I wish you all a very, very happy Valentine's Day and a day filled of love. This is literally to feel the love. So this is a special spirit reading and message for this day to feel the love. So clear out your mind and heart and get ready to receive to feel the love. Whatever the length of the video is, I'll post the, num the uh, angel number message. It will be the first pinned comment. Whatever the length of the video is, it will provide further support, further love. We're going to tap into the Archangel messages for the love, to feel the love on this day. Um, we're going to tap into the Remember You deck, the qualities they want you to hold in your heart to remember on this day. We're going to tap into the Divine Power deck for the messages about your divine power here in the physical. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Abundance deck, your connection to source when it comes to real divine abundance in all forms. This is going to be short, quick, to the point, I feel. They're making me hurry. It's Divine Spirit messages from Divine Spirit to your Divine Spirit on this special day to feel the love. We're going to tap into pure love from spirit, which I do feel like this all is. So yes, 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 my cheeks hurt. So there are definite messages that want to come through to feel the love, to just feel the love on this day. So what are the messages from Archangels uh, for this day? Happy Valentine's Day to you all. And may it be filled with love. Love, 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 love. Okay, so this was to feel the love. What are the messages? Oh, I have chills everywhere. Okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Love came out. You can't make this up. Love came out to feel the love. So this was the whole reason and intention why I'm doing this reading, which I had no plans to do on this day. The number one thing is love and happiness. So love. Archangel Michael is coming through. Archangel Jeremiah. Okay. So love and happiness. And look, the happiness has a heart. So love, love. Okay. Archangel Michael. We bring you love's frequency today. This is why I can't stop smiling and my heart is full. More than ordinarily, like more than past Valentine's Day is what I'm saying. They're going to fill your heart with love um, today. So Archangel Michael message, we bring you love's, they're delivering it. Do you hear the motorcycle in the back? <laughs> they're like delivering this to you today yes see the ways okay archangel michael message we bring you love's frequency today in what areas of your life would you like to feel more loved specify this so that we may place flower petal blessings along your path connect to asking for what your heart really longs for and celebrate knowing how worthy you are of receiving love filled blessings from above and here's the happiness archangel jeremiel message be open them to finding the hidden meaning in the silver lining. The bright side of your thoughts delivers to you a fresh perspective of the joys that await you and connect to inspired bliss. Celebrate the twists and turns of fate that elevate you to an enhanced joy journey. So they are definitely sending you love's frequency today. They want to lift your heart right now. Find the hidden meaning, the silver linings right now. Have like a whole perspective of joys that await you. They're literally putting flower petals on your path. They're asking you to ask what your heart really longs for and know that you're worthy for it. Right? And the last one is playfulness. Archangel Metatron. So we have Michael. Jeremiel and Metatron, Archangel Metatron, you are here on earth to have fun and play regardless of your circumstances. Yes, they're trying to bring you a lightness, a happiness, and it's this through the silver lining, meaning it's not always that way here, but they're asking you to look for the silver linings to still be filled of love and joy, to have a sense of playfulness, right? You're here on earth to have fun and play regardless of your circumstances. We bring you the frequencies of song and dance so you can experience childlike wonder again they're definitely giving you lighter frequencies delivering you for lighter frequencies to kind of remind you to fill your heart up with love and joy and happiness playfulness despite the circumstances they want to bring that forward today literally that's why they said to feel the love um connect to not taking anything too seriously celebrate being silly laughing and goofing off for good measure two sixes to love basically so there's a sense of lightness here of love and happiness despite the circumstances right they mentioned silver lining they mentioned um all of this you know so that is what they're saying i want to get one more though that's me to get one more despite the circumstances to have a lightness to lighten up a lot here yeah you are expanding they are bringing this forth again now in the last reading we literally have the card that said expanding so they want you oh exploring they want you out exploring archangel ariel what helps you trust yourself more is where it's at for you. 
that's very key. What helps you trust yourself more is where it's at for you. Ask me to show you what doors to open that will allow more blessings to flow. Connect to the doors that are lit up with feelings of inspired hope, love, and peace. Celebrate your ability to explore what brings a smile to your heart and peace to your soul. So that's where they're pushing you forward out. That's aligned with hope, love, peace. That's your clues. Those are the doors that are going to light up with the feelings. They're going to open up with the feelings of inspired hope, love, peace will open doors. That's how you're going to know. They're urging you to go forward to explore what brings a smile to your heart, peace in your soul. So exploring more ways here. So they are definitely today bringing you love, happiness, playfulness, and explore and get out and bring more of that in. They're bringing those frequencies in for you to be lit up and it's going to open doors to more blessings. Follow where that goes. That's what they're saying quite literally. Okay. So we're going to tap into the remember you, the qualities they want you to remember besides this love, happiness in your heart, this lightness, this playfulness of being, um, to experience, almost get back to childlike wonder. Remember your compassion. Remember, oh my gosh, what they're bringing forth today on this day of love. To feel the love, what they want you to hold in your heart. This is so beautiful, what just came out. Remember you are compassion and remember you are a bringer of good. Three cards in 90. Remember you are compassion. Remember you are a bringer of good. And remember you are forgiveness. So they definitely, my heart is full. They want you to forgive. You are forgiveness, quite literally. You are compassion and you are a bringer of good. So that's what they want to refill your heart with here. That you were literally carrying a bringer of good, right? You're aligned. It's almost when they always would show like good is God in a sense, right? So if you're back to love, happiness, peace, all of that going forward, you are literally a bringer of good. So it's a time to lighten up. It could be a lot of forgiveness happening to get over things, um, getting past. When you say light, it's like letting go of the gravity of the world, the darkness of the world, getting back to your filled with compassion. You're a bringer of good. Go out and feel more love, happiness, playfulness. It's in your divine power to do so. You're a bringer of good. So they're looking at you as a bringer of good. And they want you to feel the love for this basically like holding this in your heart and going forward you are a bringer of good so let's see what's in your divine power that they want you to know to feel the love oh gosh lands it right on the heart so i'm so curious so out of like 90 cards here let's see what are the messages you have divine power to speak up now and in your heart you have divine power to shine light on situations you are a bringer of good so they want you to know that feel the love. You can speak up. You can shine light on situations. You are a bringer of good. That's how they're looking at you. So fill your heart with that. Speak up, communicate. You're shining a light on situations quite literally, especially when you're lit up with love, happiness, peace, your forgiveness, compassion. You're a bringer of good. Speak up and shine a light on situations. So they want you to remember your compassion, your forgiveness. You're a bringer of good. So this is beautiful. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Abundance deck to feel the love. To feel the love so you can speak up now and shine a light on situations. Move forward and you're opening doors because you're aligned with love, peace, happiness. Let's get Real Divine Abundance messages. This one wants to come out. So feel the love today. Just staying aligned with them is opening up doors. Yeah. Because they're saying, let go of all that is draining your energy to be, they're summing it all up. Let go of all that is draining your energy to be positive, clear, energized, because it's that that's opening doors. Quite literally, doors are going to open um, when you're staying aligned. If you go with lit up, literally lit up with, with hope, love, and peace, quite literally. So you're letting go of all that's draining your energy to be positive, clear, and energized is the secret to opening up all doors. We're getting rise above all seeming limitations and see the new things coming in on the horizon for you. They're talking about open doors. They were talking about the silver linings here, um, but despite the circumstances that you're rising above seeming limitations and you can actually see the new things coming in on the horizon for you. They want you to know that. Um, be aligned with your higher self and your actions and reactions. 
creating the outcomes you really want. That's what they're reminding you of. You are bringing her of good, your forgiveness and compassion. So stay aligned to your higher self. How you're doing that is lightening up. Archangel Metatron is making sure, and so is Archangel Michael, Ariel, um, that you are filled with love, peace, happiness, being more aligned with your higher self and your actions, reactions, so that you're creating the outcomes you really want. When you stay positive, clear, energized, you're opening those doors. You're staying open. You're shining a light on situations. You are a bringer of good. Um, they want to you to feel this love so you stay aligned with this that you're literally in line with your higher self with your actions and reactions so you're rising above limitations you're letting go of all that's draining your energy to be positive clear and energized that you continue to speak up and shine light on situations that you're filled with compassion you're a bringer of good you're creating the outcomes you really want. Oh, gosh, there's a lot. Yes, you're achieving. Yes, okay, so they're making it very clear. Rise above all limitations. Let go of things that are draining your energy. They be positive, clear, energized. Are you ready? Release that toxicity now. You can achieve it now. We believe in you. That is what they want you to know. It's 11-11 on the video when this came out. This is what they want you to feel the love, that you can achieve things now. They believe in you. Release the toxicity anytime it comes in. Anything that's draining your energy to be positive, clear, energized, rise above seeming limitations. There are a couple of times they mentioned about circumstances, rising above them, rising above limitations. They're reminding you that your compassion, your forgiveness, you're a bringer of good. Stay aligned with your higher self for your actions, reactions. Release the toxicity. Anything that drains your energy, you're going to feel an energy shift when you're out of alignment. You can achieve it now. We believe in you. Part of you achieving is speaking up and shining a light on situations. Remember, they believe in you. You're a bringer of good. You're filled with compassion. They're making sure they're bringing the frequencies of love, happiness, peace, those things, and in your heart that you carry it because it's with that that's opening up doors for you. It's, you're holding that frequency. It's helping you. So let's end it with pure love from spirit. So it is the most important thing. You know what's really amazing too, and I just want to add, like I was watching some things well, I won't go off tangent, but like what comes out in these readings sometimes are like now slowly becoming scientifically backed, but you don't have to wait for that to know that being, the messages we get are so helpful. They're almost like beyond, you know, later, there might be actual scientific evidence for what they're saying. You don't have to wait for that to know that this is what they're doing and helping you with. We will help you to move on. They're helping you to move on. A repeating message, especially from things that are draining your spirit to make sure that you stay lit. Oh, we know you miss us. We know you miss us. And we're getting, we will help you to let go. There's a lot of things that we're letting go right now, especially with, it might come with forgiveness or the circumstances or things that are draining our energy. They're gonna help you let go to remember that you're filled with compassion. You're a bringer of good, that they believe in you. You can achieve it now to keep going, exploring, going out there. You can trust yourself more and it's opening doors when you hold this frequency. We will help you through the changes. Yes, because you're they're asking you to explore and go farther here. And also the process of any changes that you're going through. Like I said, rise above limitations and uh, we're opening doors right now. We want you to take care of yourself and we know all that has happened. And that is what they're helping you with. They're helping you to move on, going through all the changes, release toxicity and things that are happening that drain your spirit along the way. Stay aligned literally to your higher self, which is literally aligned to love, right? Like they said, feel the love so you get back into alignment whenever you need it because they're looking at you as a bringer of good. Speak up now. You're shining a light on situations. Take really good care of yourself. That's going to be part of the energy, like toxicity. There are two cards about let go of all that's draining your energy to be positive, clear, energized. We want you to take care of yourself. We know all that has happened. They know everything that has happened. But it is time to go forward now. They believe in you. You can achieve things now, right? You're a bringer of good in some way. They're giving you, delivering you the frequencies of love, and of happiness and of playfulness and to explore. It's those things that are, that light frequencies that you don't find here, right? That are encouraging, that they're saying, go out there, We you can achieve it now, we believe in you. Just stay aligned with your higher self for your actions and reactions so you're creating the outcomes you really want. Being in that frequency is literally opening doors. They literally said, allow us to show you what doors they're gonna open 
doors are lit up with feelings of inspired hope, love, and peace. You li quite literally open doors with, right, with your frequency, with your thoughts, with your actions. Um, so that's what they're saying. Past limitations, past circumstances. Remember, you're filled with compassion. You're a bringer of good. Um, they're definitely helping you to move on, move on, move on through changes and keep taking care of yourself all through that and it's time to achieve things now they believe in you part of your achieving is going to be to speak up and shine light on situations and i just love this it's sticking out you're a bringer of good so that's what they're looking at you as and they want you to feel the love feel the love for this so you're not going to get that in the physical very often feel the love you are a bringer of good they're sending you a lot of frequencies of love happiness peace and this this frequency of exploring to get out that despite circumstances limitations that you are rising underneath i don't want to hide this rising above all seeming limitations and see the new things coming in right that's where they're there that's all the frequencies they're sending you and remember through it all you're a bringer of good stay aligned to that be aligned with your higher self in these frequencies it's opening doors it's keeping you connected um it's that's what they're saying and they believe in you so i wish you so much take great care of yourself too because along the way they're really going to show you how to remove toxicity and anything that you encounter here that affects your energy to not be positive clear energized exactly how they want you positive clear energized um so feel the love for this feel the love for this and for you have a wonderful happy valentine's take care bye-bye